is a coral. And it turns out they're some of the simplest animals on Earth, but they can grow so big that they're visible from space. So the coral is a very simple animal. It's just a layer of tissue, but it forms a, a cup. So you can imagine this being the, the tissue cup. And this is the little bag and the stomach inside with the mouth up here. The mouth has tentacles around it like this plumeria flower, and that's a coral polyp. Now the coral polyp secretes a shell around it like this coffee cup, and that would be what we call a solitary coral, one polyp and one shell around it. But corals grow differently than that. They divide and they get to be bigger by making more polyps and more shells around them. So as the coral grows, it forms a colony of polyps with their shells around it, and the colony can grow and grow and grow. So what do we see then when we look at a live coral? We see the shell with the polyps inside. But what happens when a coral dies, I mean, most people see the coral skeleton after the coral's dead, is, oh, the polyps are gone. So what you see are just the shells left behind, all cemented together in a colony. Each of the round holes you see in a coral colony is a cup. So if we, if we look at one of those, for example, this one that we just pulled off the beach, you can see the cup structure. You can see each of these little round circular bits is actually one of the cups that the polyps live in. But each of these circles represents one of those polyps with a mouth and tentacles all around. Now as the polyp ages, it grows a little bit and sometimes splits into two. And the whole coral head then grows and grows and grows. What do we get at the end of the whole process? Well, we start with a polyp secreting the stuff around it. We get a coral, and at the end, what we get is this, sand. This is coral sand. It's made up of tiny little flecks of coral that have been chipped off the reef behind. So the life and death of a coral reef starts and grows, takes years, and then erodes. And a good coral reef is in a, in a, in a balance between coral growth and coral erosion.